McCoy TV, baby. Coffee pot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, we're going to go ahead and get a little coffee in this morning. You know what I'm saying? Cheese Shazette. Interesting topic right here. Kendra Dree humbles delusional woman after they called a man ugly on her live show. Yep, just let that sink in for a little second, man. The reason why I clicked on this is because, um, shit, personally, I, growing up, I always thought, I, like, I was an ugly ass dude. I can't even say an ugly dude. Like, I thought I was an ugly ass dude. Like, because that's what people was telling me. Family members was telling me that. Girls I thought I liked was telling me that. Like, never had to, never got to have, a, like, a little girlfriend or nothing like that from, you know what I'm saying, zero to eighth grade or something. Not because... Well, I don't think I really wanted one, but no girl liked me. I was ugly. I got called ugly a lot. You know what I'm saying? Dirty, chapped, dry, crusty, all that stuff. All that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But look at this experience with this guy. My name is Shishu Zed. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. He wants a pretty woman because he isn't handsome, and he doesn't want his kids to be ugly like him. Now, that's the whole... Pr like, literally... Even in terms of, like, coming up and, like, nobody should really be out here, you know what I'm saying, involved in them adult activities, you know what I'm saying, without a, you know, a significant other that you, you know, bound to for life under God. But in the event I did slip up like my daddy did, my daddy did, my daddy had some, matter of fact, my dad had all his kids before he got married, and then he got married and didn't have no kids, but that's a whole nother thing. But I will always think about the little DJs, because my family, even my family, is mean to ugly kids. Real rap. Real rap. Like, my family talks about ugly kids. So, yeah, of course, why would I bring a child into this world with some woman who, like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be attractive, because we got to make sure the kid is attractive, because I'm not. So, you got to look good. You got to look way good to help counteract these ugly genes. For the sake of the baby. You know how hard it is to be a little ugly kid in America? Do you know how hard it is for the little ugly kids in America? And if you think I'm playing, pretty people have better lives. People treat them better. People are just nicer to them. So why would you then go try to just make these little ugly babies? Today we've got another Kendra G video. As you guys know, for the past, I think like a few weeks or so, I've been... Um, reacting to more videos by Kendra G and kind of discussing her evolution, right? From her first appearance, from the first time I saw her, at least on Kevin Samuel's channel, till now, the, the evolution of Kendra G is very obvious, right? And what I said in my first video that I made in regards to um, how Kendra G presented herself when she was on KS's channel till now is she's gonna run into the same issues that Kevin Samuels did, right? Realizing that women today are taught to overvalue themselves when it comes to the dating market, specifically what they qualify for when it comes to the type of men that they want. So in this video, we've got a male guest who appeared on Kendra G's live, and he basically said that he's looking for a woman and he wants her to be attractive because he doesn't think he's attractive, right? This gentleman obviously rated himself and decided, hey, I'm not that attractive. I don't find myself that attractive, but I do want an attractive woman so I could have kids who are more attractive than I am. But as always, man, don't just take my word for it. We're gonna check out to see what he said and how this conversation played out. Guys, this situation was really interesting. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Well, she gotta look good. I like beautiful, man. We are all beautiful. And uh, she has to look good. I ain't gonna classify myself to be an handsome looking guy. And uh, I don't want my kids looking too ugly like me. So we have to compliment look each other. Look at the, like, just look at the perspective he got. Like, look, this is where I'm at. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, humble, humble. You know, you understand what I mean? So I she got to. say you're ugly, Godfrey. I, I know, uh, I. I, I'm not in the class of the handsome dudes. <laughs> maybe if I had some makeup, get some gloves done, wigs, maybe. <laughs> you tried it, you tried it. You tried it, you tried it. You tried it. You tried it. What do you to say to ladies? Which I do think. I mean, I do I'm just being sarcastic. Please don't take yes, me serious. I, I know. No, 
saying. All right, so you guys heard what Godfrey had to say. He's looking for a woman who can carry the looks of the family because he doesn't believe he's that attractive, right? He rated himself. He's like, nah, you know, I don't consider myself a handsome guy. And then Kendra G's like, nah, you're not ugly, and tries to comfort him, which he responds if I could put on some makeup and put a wig on, maybe then I can be able to mask, you know, what's what's really inside. And if you guys didn't catch that, that was a shot at the comment section. Now, why would he say that? Well, he's saying that because the whole time while he's talking to Kendra G, this was a pretty long conversation, right? It was pretty long. And Godfrey comes across as a pretty humble, um, genuine, kind person. But the whole time he's talking, there were women in the comment section basically saying he's ugly, get him off, we don't want him, he's not cute, get him out of here, next, next, next. They didn't like that coffee. This coffee smells like... New text message received. It was, you know, being sarcastic, um, I look at it as a shot to the comment section and also had some truth in it, right? It had some truth in it. There are a lot of women out here who when it comes to men, they're quick, they're quick to say, oh, you're ugly, you're dusty, you're broke, get you out of here. But let a man say you're average at best. <laughs> are you, listen, are you guys following me here? Are you guys following me here? Let a man say you're average at best, not even ugly. Now you're the most despised man on youtube there is disparities like there is male and female like women can do a lot more they got super free speech like men i don't think your speech is as free it dictates things and i think we understand that a little bit more <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. and guys why i will always when i kind of do the kendra g videos compare and contrast to kevin samuels and her evolution is because I'm trying to prove the point. And the point is the people like Kendra G who came at KS back in the day and a bunch of people who still want to come at him now who are trying to do the same thing he was doing, which is just basically help men and women understand one another, but in specific help women find the men that they not only want, but qualify for. I promise you, they will all run into the same issue. Average women today overvalue themselves in the dating market, right? They want the men they don't qualify for. They, unlike this guy, are delusional, unrealistic. This is a perfect example of men looking at themselves and being able to be honest with themselves, right? Being able to say, you know what? I understand what I qualify for. This is what I'm looking for. Now, what do I have to do to get there? But it first starts with understanding your sexual market value, not your personal value. This is not about how much you're worth. As a human being, yes, God loves you, right? Your mother loves you, your family loves you. Now, where do you rank on the sexual dating market for long-term relationships that lead to marriage? That's what women want, right? And that's what men want um, in most cases when they're talking about relationships seriously in most cases. Not the guys that wanna bust your cheeks. I know. Man, we gonna end on that, man. Y'all can finish the video, man. Check out Shisha's eye. I think I already hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? I follow the content, but um, ladies, beware of the cheekbusters. Beware of the cheekbusters. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Thanks for all the support that y'all give to me on a daily. Started off a couple years ago, none but encouragement and, and a little vision. So I just want to thank everybody. You know, it was just me now. We up to almost 40 subscribers. Go ahead and help me get to 100 by the end of the year, man. Let's get it. Help me out. Help me out. A like go a long way. It's very free. And uh, if you just want to continue to help support a young black man with this new business, this media business, just thanks for the support. Shares are very, very welcome. And y'all just have a good day, man. Um, hit me with topics. Um, if you want to be mentioned or tagged, let me know. But hit me for topics, man. We're just growing, covering sports, anime, uh, and some battle rap right now.